YouTube, how's it going? Today I'm going to show an update on my little nano saltwater tank. Um, big point I'm kind of showing this tank is there's a lot of complaints about saltwater being too expensive and people can't really afford it. I don't want to stick all the time and money into it, which I get and I understand because that's how it is for me even still having saltwater. It's still expensive. It's hard to be able to stick money into it um, and I can't really keep up to all the setups that I used to have, which is why I only have the three saltwater setups, not including this guy. Um, this is a little gallon nano setup. Uh, is not really much to it. Pretty simple. It's got filtration. It's got lighting. I probably stock about a little over a hundred bucks into this setup and it's complete. Everything's all set. I can keep coral, I can keep inverts, and I can keep fish. Um, so we're going to go over the tank and kind of just show you how it is. But this is for those of you that are like, I don't want to stick $500, $600, $800 into a big saltwater setup. I just want to do something small and simple, not exactly a $500 28-gallon bio-cube tank. Uh, this is something that's going to be pretty small and simple. This is like your basic beta fish kind of a vase kind of setup. So um, with that said, let's take a look at the tank. All right, so here's the setup. Um, it has a hang-on-the-back filter by Azu, which is going to be a Japanese company. Uh, we've got a filter sponge and some ceramic rings in the back for biological filtration. There's no carbon involved. Uh, I don't use carbon on any of my setups just because it does have a lot of negative backlashes to it. Uh, and I've never had any issues without it. So uh, we've got two pieces of live rock in there. We've got a boost LED um, bulb. It has, what do we got? I think three royal blues and one light, one white. Yeah, I can't really focus on it. Uh, so the bulb itself is going to cost about, I think I paid 50 bucks off eBay for that one. Uh, the filter was 10 bucks, which was actually a gift to me. The live rock I got from another tank, but you're looking at about 10 bucks for the live rock. Uh, the sand was left over from the 55 gallon, so that's an extra, well, $20 bag of sand. But I mean, I used the leftovers from it, so not really much uh, cost there for it. And that was really about it. So you're looking at about a little over 100 bucks maybe just under 100 bucks if you get a good deal on the light um, for a reef capable aquarium that uh, is really only a gallon so you gotta make sure you're keeping up to the water because obviously as it lowers the salinity is gonna raise on you so you gotta make sure you do your top off your freshwater top off um, just to keep the water level at a good amount so that we don't have to worry too much of the salt uh, we've got some green star polyps in there so we'll be adding more coral like zooanthid polyps maybe some mushroom coral or something like that something that's gonna be uh, fairly small even the mushroom coral could do a good size uh, we've got two zebra hermit crabs, which are there to just kind of pick up leftovers. They've got the black and the white bands on them. Um, what else do we've got? We've got a yellow canary blenny, which is just scooting around in there somewhere. He's probably about an inch long, bright yellow. And that's it. That's the little nano setup. So a lot of people that look and go, well, I don't want to stick my um, all my money into a big 55-gallon setup. You can do something just as simple as this, where as long as you're making sure you're keeping up to the maintenance on it, it's just fine. Um, I probably set this up about a month ago. I wiped the tank today, and even still, it wasn't even that bad with algae. So um, to say it's reef capable, it's pretty well maintained, there's no issues with it as far as algae goes, it's kind of a cool project. So uh, for me, it's pretty simple to be able to set this up because I can just take the water straight from the 55-gallon tank just to get it up and going. But when it comes to water changes, I take out about a cup's worth. I already have the water mixed for maybe the 55 or the 150 that's already going on for a water change, and I just need to take a cup from that bucket and dump it into here. Now, for those of you who have saltwater tanks, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. For those of you who don't, I mean, just a simple little tablespoon inside of a cup worth of salt should be able to do it for you. So, uh, yeah, maintaining a small saltwater tank is going to be a little bit more of a hassle not necessarily more difficult, but more of a hassle than a large saltwater tank. Why? Because if I'm adding a cup worth of salt to this little setup, I'm going to lose my salinity. It's going to go through the roof. Um, if I add a cup worth of salt to a 55-gallon tank, it's hardly going to be noticeable. So that's why the only difference is you just got to make sure you're keeping up with your proper measurements. You got to make sure that you're really making sure that you're not overdoing the salt or underdoing the salt on a small setup like this. So um, other than that, I mean, it's not too difficult. I haven't had any issues with it so far. It's been a month, so... Um, but that is the nano saltwater tank. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Any questions, just go ahead and ask. Post them down below. Send me a message if you want. I'll be making a new video on the 150-gallon venomous tank, um, as well as a new arrival. And just because it's been requested so many times that I might as well just do it, <laughs> um, I'll be setting up a planted freshwater aquarium. So uh, what that'll all be, who knows? I'll show you that later. But uh, that'll be the plan, because I never really jumped into plants all too much, I guess, after the bad luck with the first batch I had years ago. Uh, and I haven't done fresh water in a long time with when it comes to setting up any new setup. So uh, 
hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, any questions, post them down below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Thank you.